All right, here we go. 21-year-old Ms. Charlene Nungo recently started having some heart palpitations and weeping. Was the culprit vaping? Nope. Not even abuse of other vices. It was a bakery in England that accidentally served the vegan a pork sausage. <laughs> Bob Evans must be down to the farm rolling over in his grave. <laughs> when Ms. Nungo learned the news that her sausage was not fake and that she had consumed real meat, she stated that she was, and I quote, traumatized for life. <laughs> Greg's Bakery of Kent, England offered her a $2 refund from the meat steak. <laughs> And when she balked, they upped the offer to a $36 gift card of hot dogs. No, not really, but, <laughs> but Ms. Nungo is demanding a public apology from the bakery. She declared, people can be allergic to pork and potentially die from such a stupid mistake. Now, in one of her online video rants, she said, quote, my body is poisoned for life now, end quote. Well, I'm sure she'll survive if she just remembers that everyone occasionally needs a little meat time now and then. <laughs> All right, take a gander at this story from Nottinghamshire, England. Now, we call it poultry in motion. Police received a report that a goose had crashed through the back window of a taxi cab and was just sitting there waiting for his driver to take him somewhere. If I were the cabbie, I'd guess south this time of year. <laughs> Officers said that thankfully there was no foul play involved in the situation. Hey, Governor. Yeah, Keith. If I mentioned it, you know, I live out in the country. Yeah, I know and that. I, I actually have a pet goose. No kidding. But, you know, I've, I've noticed lately, I think he may be depressed. Dep a depressed goose? How, how could you even think that, Keith? Well, he looks really down. <laughs> hey, Keith, whatever you do to cheer him up, just don't take him to dinner. I'm afraid he'll complain about his bill. Yeah. All right, this just in. We've obtained exclusive video footage of what's going on right now inside Adam Schiff's head. <laughs> Actually, it really is a food service card at Chicago's O'Hare Airport that started spinning as wildly as a CNN commentator after a crate of water bottles fell onto the accelerator pedal. By the way, this does give new meaning to the phrase, circling O'Hare. <laughs> and last week at a union-sponsored candidate forum, presidential candidate Senator Amy Klobacher of Minnesota talked about her attempt to play golf and the very non-PC results. She recounted, she said, I did one time try to play golf, but I misfired on the first try and the ball hit a duck in the head and it appeared to perish. So I don't think it's a good idea for the bird population of America if I play golf. <laughs> hey, I found out that I've got something in common with Senator Klobuchar. We're both duck hunters. <laughs> now, I found it's much easier and more reliable to use a semi-automatic 12-gauge shotgun instead of a golf club. <laughs> Little tip. By the way, Trey, this story made me think about the first time you went golfing Mm -hmm. And you had to change your socks. I, I don't know. Why was that? Oh, no, it's because I had a hole in one, you know? <laughs> hole in one. Truthfully, folks, with respect to the senator, golfing with a Democrat is a lot like taxes. You go for the green and you wind up in the hole. <laughs> hey, <laughs> seriously, I am not a golfer. But it seems like Senator Klobuchar actually scored her first birdie that day. I said she scored her first birdie that day. And I guess she turned that country club into a golf corpse. Well, just like Chick-fil-A on a Sunday, we got to close this thing down. But always remember that we read the news. Now, if you want more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell right next to it. And if you leave a comment, positive or negative, I'll be sure that my dog Toby sees it and responds to you in kind. <laughs>